Hi. Let's learn about immediate family and its legal, financial, and social implications. When we talk about immediate family, we usually think of our closest relatives, such as our parents, siblings, spouse, and children. However, this definition can vary depending on the context, and it's important to understand how it affects different aspects of our lives. The immediate family is considered the smallest family unit and includes parents, siblings, spouse, and children. However, the specific inclusions may differ depending on the law or organization defining immediate family, and it can sometimes be a bit ambiguous. In addition to blood ties, other factors, such as dependents and legal relationships, may help determine what counts as immediate family. It's important to consider these criteria when defining and protecting your immediate family. The members of your immediate family may have certain legal rights and responsibilities, such as making medical or legal decisions on your behalf. Understanding these legal aspects is crucial for protecting your family and their interests. The definition of immediate family has implications for situations like medical leave, where employees may need to care for a sick family member. Certain laws, such as the Family and Medical Leave Act, have specific definitions for immediate family that impact employees' rights. The immediate family definition also affects financial transactions, such as stock market regulations. For example, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority has strict rules on trading or selling stock to immediate family members, impacting their financial activities. In a state law, the definition of immediate family determines the right of inheritance. Understanding how the law applies to immediate family members is essential for estate planning and ensuring your assets are distributed according to your wishes. Given the ambiguity, it's important to ensure that all members of your immediate family are protected legally and financially. This may involve legal documentation and financial planning to safeguard your family's interests. Immediate family differs from extended family, which includes a broader network of relatives. Understanding this distinction is important in various legal and social contexts, such as custody rights and inheritance. Companies may have different definitions for immediate family when offering bereavement pay. Knowing who is considered part of your immediate family can impact your eligibility for this benefit. For U.S. immigration purposes, the definition of immediate family impacts who is eligible for permanent resident status. Understanding these definitions is crucial when applying for a green card for family members. Asylum and refugee status also have specific definitions for immediate family members. Knowing who qualifies as immediate family is important when petitioning for family members' green card status. Immediate family includes the closest members of a person's family unit, such as their parents, siblings, spouse, and children. However, the exact definition of immediate family may vary depending on the specific context. Here are five key takeaways. 1. The immediate family usually consists of one's parents, siblings, spouse, and children. 2. Who is considered immediate family matters in situations such as a company's family leave policy. 3. The Family and Medical Leave Act, for example, defines immediate family as your spouse, parents, and dependent children. 4. For U.S. immigration purposes, immediate family is limited to one spouse, parents, or unmarried children below age 21. 5. In estate law, the right of inheritance passes to one's spouses and surviving children before moving on to other relatives. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.